Hi scholars. The first video that we're going to be talking about with these thinking strategies for addition is the thinking strategy of adding one, two, or three to any number. To start off, we're going to think about a number line. A number line is a line that is um, horizontal usually. That means it goes from left to right. And it has an, a number of equally spaced points, which you can see. And each of the points are labeled as a number. So if once I label one zero, one point zero, I can then um, label the next point one for the next counting number. And then two for the next, and three for the next, four, five, and so on. <clears throat> and I can keep on going on forever. That's why this arrow is here to let me know that I can go on forever. <clears throat> so the adding one strategy will work because we're using counting on. Now the count on strategy means that if I have a problem such as this, three plus one, it means that I'm going to start at number at three on the number line. So start at three and I'm going to count one more to the right. So I'm going to give the next counting number. I'm going to go one place to the right. And <clears throat> that number is four. So three plus one equals four. Let's try another one. Six plus one. That means that I would start at six and I would go to the right one number or count on one number and that would get me to seven. So six plus one equals seven. So this counting on strategy means that you start at the number that you're given and then you count on that many numbers. But because you're only counting on one more, it's just going to be the next counting number. So one plus one, the next number after one is two. So it would be two. That's why one plus one equals two. Two plus one, Two, the next counting number would be three, and that's the answer. Three plus one, three, four. Next one, four plus one equals five. Five plus one equals six. Six plus one equals seven, as we just saw before. Seven plus one equals eight. Eight plus one equals nine. And nine plus one equals ten because the next counting number that comes after 9 is 10. <clears throat> you can also use this strategy, the count on strategy, when you're adding 2 um, to any number as well. So you'd start at the number that you're given, so start at 1, so you would say, this is what you would say, you would say 1, and then you would count on for two more numbers, 2, 3. These are the next two numbers you would count on. So the answer to this is 3. Another example for 2 plus 2, you would start at 2, and you would count on two more counting numbers. So you would say 2, 3, 4. The answer to 2 plus 2 is 4. Same with 3 plus 2. 3, 4, 5. So you see this plus sign tells you to count on a certain number of numbers. And in this case, it's going to be two numbers after the number that you're given. So 4, 5, 6. 5, 6, 7. So 5 plus 2 equals 7. 6, 7, 8. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 7, 8, 9. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 8, 9, 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 9, 10, 11. 9 plus 2 equals 11. And you can try the same thing with counting on by 3. So you can add 3 to any number by counting on from that number um, for 3 numbers. So for example here, you would start at 1, and then you would count on 3 more numbers. 2, 3, 4. And that would be your answer. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3, 
4, 5, 6. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 4 plus 3 is solved by starting at 4 and counting on three more numbers. So you'd say 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 3 is the same as 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 plus 3 equals 8. And the number that you end up on is the answer. 6 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. <clears throat> 7 plus 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 8, 9, 10, 11. 8 plus 3 equals 11. 9, 10, 11, 12. 9 plus 3 equals 12. So you can see how the count on strategy works whenever you're uh, adding 1, 2, or 3 to any number. Now counting on any more than that um, leaves, leaves yourself open to making some errors. So I would only use the add 1, 2, and 3 strategy um, to counting on and anything after that um, you should commit to memory or use another strategy to avoid getting the incorrect answer um, because you're counting on too much. Is that clear? All right. I hope that made sense, and I hope that you were able to use the add one, two, or three strategy to any number to get your basic facts down um, fluently. Now, once you've done that, you'll notice that th these are the hundred, these are the 121 edition facts that you must memorize. They're all right here. Once you've mastered that strategy, you'll notice that you've mastered this entire column right here that's in blue from 1 plus 2 all the way down to 9 plus 2 and 1 plus 3 all the way down to 9 plus 3 so you've mastered a pretty big chunk of the uh, 121 edition facts that you must master if you are able to um, use the counting on by 1, 2, and 3 strategy hope you enjoyed